Now I've made countless videos on how to improve your workflow and how to save time in Adobe Illustrator. So it's quite remarkable I still have some fresh and useful tips for you guys, but today I have four of them coming right up. The first tip today is based around making templates as new documents in Illustrator. We can actually make a new document which is a template and we can open up pre-made templates right here. They are pretty useful and there is quite a wide selection, but we should personalize templates for our workflow when using Adobe Illustrator. So here is an example. This document is perfect for when I create a thumbnail for my YouTube videos. I have some placeholder text with the right font and the right character settings. I have guides put in place and I have some assets off to the right of the artboard that will come in handy during my workflow. And I also even have a branding swatch selection in the swatches library. So if I go ahead and save this template here, I can then open up this document as a new document anytime I want to work on a thumbnail for a video. And of course, there'll be many things set in place that will save me wasting time every time I make a thumbnail. Now you might not be able to save a template and that's because you do not have permission to save into that specific folder on your computer. And on a Mac, here is the right path to that folder and you're going to want to make sure you have the permission to read and write into the specific folder in your Adobe Illustrator application. Now I can't remember where I heard about this next tip, but it's so useful. I think you guys are going to really love it. So let's say you're working on a logo or an icon or pretty much any design for that matter. The tip here is to take a screenshot every now and then of your design process and how your design is coming along. And then when you've had a good long session at designing, it's time to take a break. But before you do take that break, email all of the screenshots to yourself. Then simply go and do something else, like make some tea, exercise, or maybe go for a walk or something like that. And whilst you're doing this, find some time to review and open up that email with those screenshots that you saved earlier. This will allow you to see your designs in a different light, in a different situation, and thus with a different mindset. Also, because you're viewing it on a different device, you will be able to see the design in a completely different resolution, a different screen. This will let you see imperfections a lot easier and then you might have a different way or a different idea on how to evolve the design thereafter. The third tip is a quick way to save a lot of time in Illustrator. Now, I think it's a very smart idea to take documents with many different assets of a specific niche and save them somewhere on your computer. So for example, I have many social media icons on this document. Now I can save this in a specific location and then whenever I need to use social media icons for my projects, I don't have to make one or even search the internet to download them. I have everything I need right here for social media icons. And if you think about it, you can do this for just about anything that falls into a specific group and this will save you a whole lot of time. And the fourth tip today for better workflow in Illustrator is to make use of the export as option. In Illustrator, we can export a save file right here. But at the bottom of the window, we can choose various different file formats and we can choose which artboards we want to save. And you can also set up a new folder if you haven't done that already. But the real neat thing here is that you can save specific artboards very quickly from one window. And yes, there are various different ways to do this, such as the export access option, but this is another way to be doing that. 
I've actually launched a website where I offer a critique and a guidance service with at the moment two possible options where I can give you detailed and useful feedback on one design or you can work with me to improve your portfolio and get more customers as a graphic designer. Check out the website linked down below if you do want some one-on-one -on -one guidance with myself. Now, if you want to learn more useful tips when working in Adobe Illustrator, make sure to click one of the videos on screen. And of course, until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.